Lehman. Um, I remember, I'm, I'm going to date myself, but I remember five, almost six years ago, talking to you originally about your vision for shared worlds and, you know, the, and the swirls vision and what that meant. Um, today, we are hearing a lot of discussions about the metaverse. Um, we are hearing, you know, one conglomerate try to sort of coin that phrase and own the metaverse. Um, seems a little counterintuitive. Um, but what role do you think that the metaverse plays in your vision for shared worlds? So shared worlds is, is the ability for anyone to just carve out a piece of cyberspace, the online world of their own, invite people to help them create and do things in that world of shared information, and then to be able to interoperate with others. So this is what Hedera has been pushing for the entire time. We're building the foundation for this sort of thing. If you're gonna do this, what you'll end up with is small, maybe ad hoc networks of computers. They're talking to each other and cooperating. And then when they have things that they want to um, commemorate permanently, they can use HCS to record it forever, or they can use HCS to even power them. They can be an app net. This is how shared worlds work. And so then what you can do is you can play games or whatever in your shared world, but you can have things of value within your shared world. And the things of value could be tokens. So our token service works. So you have our consensus service and our token service can be useful for this. And if you want to get really fancy, you can even use the smart contracts with it. Or you can just do a private network, a hash graph network that just does things on its own. You reach your own consensus. And then occasionally when you want to do something with these bigger assets, these tokens or whatever, then you reach out to Hedera and do it. So you can run it as an app net where everything is running through Hedera, or you can do it as a separate hash graph network and then just occasionally talk to Hedera and use HCS or HTS to do your um, actions on Hedera. This is the idea. And so what would you do? Well, you could create things, you could play games, you could have a stock market, you could have a Wikipedia. There's all sorts of things you could do in these shared worlds. One of the things you could do in these shared worlds is we all put on VR goggles and we get to explore a three-dimensional world that we share. Maybe that's what metaverse means. I'm not actually sure what metaverse means. Everyone seems to have a different definition. But VR is very cool. Being able to do things online is very cool. Being able to do things online where no single company can control it is very cool. Some people do not have that as part of their definition of metaverse, but I think that's the way the metaverse ought to work is that maybe a company you're paying to host it on their servers in some sense, but they can't steal your assets because your assets are NFTs that are coined on Hedera. And so you're just using this other company to help you do your 3D world. But the real things of value are, are trustworthy. And even the rules of the game itself can be made trustworthy. If you're using an app net using HCS, or if you're frequently sending things, you can imagine a first person shooter where you're constantly getting points and constantly recording those points. And so once they're recorded into Hedera, they're there forever. There's all sorts of ways that you can do this. So metaverse, I'm not sure what it means. Maybe it means VR, maybe it means some of the, um, some of the vision of being able to share information across different platforms. But my vision of shared worlds is bigger and the metaverse is part of it, absolutely. And I'm extremely excited. I have ideas about graphics that I've mentioned before. Um, I think VR is a big thing, AR will be a big thing. Uh, this is the future. And it will be built on the ability to have rules enforced without having a single company control it and for having things of value that you can trust. Um, I'll give you one last example. I had a, an interview with someone who was a fashion designer, I think, and we were talking about virtual fashion things for your avatar. And you can imagine paying a large amount of money for a, a blouse or a handbag or something for your avatar that has a brand name on it. Well, the problem, of course, is that in cyberspace, everybody, nobody knows you're a dog. That's an old joke. In cyberspace, who knows that that brand name is not just, I typed it in and I put a fake brand name on it. Well, the only way to know that and have the true cachet of really the brand is if there's an NFT behind it. And if your, your computer, your VR goggles are automatically reaching out and talking to their computer and getting proof that they truly have that NFT in real time, and then you not only see the avatar with that label, but you see some kind of a mark saying, yeah, I've checked it, this is real. And so then you have the cachet of having that label. The whole world of our world is gonna move into cyberspace and move into the metaverse and things like found, uh, the foundations are gonna be things like 
tokens and NFTs and things that you can check automatically so that you can trust them. I can't wait. And we should talk more about this in the future. This is really cool stuff. And this has been our vision for six years. And now it's coming. I love it.